Tonight we are going to pray a midnight prayer to cancel evil plans of the enemy over our lives. In Matthew 13 verse 25, the Bible says, While men slept, his enemies come and store tares among the wheat and went his way. The midnight hour is one of the most important time to pray. The nature of the enemy is to do evil and to destroy people. In 1 Peter 5 verse 8, the Bible says, Be alert and of sober mind. Your enemy the devil prowls around like a warring lion, looking for someone to devour. The midnight hour is an extremely powerful time to pray. It is a time when we can take charge of any situation and circumstance in our lives. There are many demonic forces operating during the midnight hour. If you want to overcome these demonic forces and destroy all their works in your life, you must be ready to wage spiritual warfare at the midnight hour. Midnight hours are a highly effective time to pray in order to handle all forms of issues that can affect us as believers. No matter what you are going through in life, just take some time to do an effective midnight prayer over that issue and you shall see the hand of God upon your life. Tonight we are going to pray a powerful midnight prayer point to cancel the evil plans of the enemy in our lives. As you pray tonight, you shall see wonders in your life in the name of Jesus Christ. Midnight prayer is your spiritual battle strategy to overcome the evil plan of the enemy. When you pray at midnight, you take the battle to the camp of the enemy. It does not matter the arrows that the devil has sent in your direction. You can send it back to the sender through midnight prayers. You can claim your blessings, your deliverance and breakthrough through midnight prayers. As you pray this powerful midnight prayer tonight, every devil in your life shall get out of your life forever in Jesus name. In Deuteronomy 28 verse 7, the Bible says, the Lord will cause your enemies who rise against you to be defeated before you. They shall come out against you one way and flee before you seven ways. In Matthew 18, verse 18 through 19, the Bible says, Truly I tell you, whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven, and whatever you loose on earth will be loose in heaven. Again, truly I tell you, that if two of you on earth agree about anything they ask for, it will be done for them by my Father in heaven. In Isaiah 54, verse 14 through 15, the Bible says, In righteousness you shall be established. You shall be far from oppression, for you shall not fear, and from terror, for it shall not come near you. Indeed, they shall surely assemble, but not because of me. Whoever assembles against you shall fall for your sake. In James 4 verse 7, the Bible says, Submit yourselves to God, resist the devil, and he will flee from you. In Psalm 59 verse 1 to 2, the Bible says, Deliver me from my enemies, O God. Be my fortress against those who are attacking me. Deliver me from evildoers and save me from those who are after my blood. Midnight prayers is one of the ways that God will use to return the power and anointing to us Christians. And when this power comes, it shall break every yoke, every chain, and every satanic bondage. Every enemy of your life and destiny shall be disgraced tonight in Jesus' mighty name. We are going to pray to disgrace the enemy our principal enemy is the devil and his demons. But the truth is this, the devil and his demons cannot operate without human vessels. Therefore, our enemies also include demonic or demon-possessed human beings. Human enemies can be grouped into the following. Those who don't want you to make progress. Those who oppress you physically. Those who give evil counsel against you. Those who cannot stand your prosperity. Those who smile with you openly but secretly, they plan evil against you. Those who mock you. 
those who pose as God in your life, those who think without them you can never make it, those who attack you without a cause. The only way to overcome all this attack is by engaging in midnight prayer to disgrace the enemy. We are praying for God to arise and show himself before our enemies. We are praying for God to disgrace, displace, and embarrass them with our testimony. Psalm 35, verse 1 through 5. O Lord, oppose those who oppose me. Fight those who fight against me. Put on your armor and take up your shield. Prepare for battle and come to my aid. Lift up your spear and javelin against those who pursue me. Let me hear you say, I will give you victory. Bring shame and disgrace on those trying to kill me. Turn them back and humiliate them who wants to harm me. Blow them away like chaff in the wind, a wind sent by the angel of the Lord. Make their path dark and slippery with the angel of the Lord pursuing them.